All righty, welcome to the Media Current Contrib Half Hour. It is December 9th, 2021. Today we're going to have another look at some of the latest Drupal news and then dig into some issues. If anybody happens to have an issue they'd like to look at or a project's issue queue or something, drop it in the chat and we'll take a look. Housekeeping, my name is Damien McKenna. I am community lead at MediaCurrent. I use the pronouns he, him. I've been involved in the Drupal community since 2007. Do a bunch of stuff. And people recognize me as that guy with the bunny ears who hops around issue queues. My time is sponsored by MediaCurrent. We're a full service digital agency that implements world-class open source software development strategy and design to achieve defined goals for enterprise organizations seeking a better return on investment. And we love working with Drupal. These meetings are set up as a community project. Go to drupal.org slash project slash contrib underscore half underscore hour to see the upcoming schedule. That's repeated here in a second. And if you leave a comment in today's issue, you get issue credit just for hanging out. Lastly, we adhere to the Drupal code of conduct. Go to drupal.org slash DCOC if you have not read it recently. So next week, Still open for a topic if anybody has any ideas or suggestions. On the 23rd, we'll do an end of year review, look at the highlights of the year in the Drupal world and hope to hear your own highlights, things you'd like to share. And then on the 30th, there will be no meeting because I'll be taking some vacation time. So some news, as mentioned last week, there's a new release out for Drupal 7 that has a number of uh, bug fixes and a couple of small feature improvements and changes. One thing to note, when you deploy this, you will need to run the database updates immediately. Otherwise you will get some errors loading the site because of a new column that's added to the uh, user uh, entity. And you might start seeing, well, you might start getting errors because some of the code expects it to be there. Um, but it is paving the way for future stability and support with uh, PHP 8.1 fixes and a whole bunch of other stuff. So make sure to give it a good test before you upload it to production. As mentioned before as well, Drupal 8 is has hit its end of life and lots of contrib module maintainers are ending support for it, including yours truly for meta tag. So make sure to update to Drupal 9. And then Drupal 9.3.0 is finally out. It was tagged late yesterday evening slash this morning sometime, or the release node was last night, roughly Eastern US time. Um, but I only saw it this morning. There are a whole bunch of nice small improvements, including the addition of CK Editor 5, one thing to note when you update to 9.3.0 and you do a usual uh, cache rebuild, update DB to um, run the database updates and then export the configuration, there will be a whole load of minor config changes to review because for some reason, the sorting order of the uh, config items has got changed. Whether it's accidental or on purpose is not clear, most likely accidental, but I've seen this on two different projects that we updated um, and we had hundreds of config file changes that were all completely inconsequential. It was, Line five swaps with line 43 kind of stuff. The data structure is all fine. It's just a little alarming how many files were changed, but everything's a-okay after that. 
um, but do give it a good solid regression test. There are some minor changes related to a couple of theming files and things. Make sure you take a, a good look through the release notes and then test it thoroughly before uploading. But uh, so far, like I said, on two projects, I've added it or updated to 9.3. They've been fine, but uh, they haven't uh, overridden the template files that changed and everything else was a-okay. And also, as mentioned before, Drupal 10 is open for business. So expect to see work for that starting to ramp up, I would say in January, because uh, a lot of work is slowing down at the end of the year, uh, but they are, they do have some solid goals related to functionality that they want to get in. So stay tuned for more details there. Uh, one thing I did see is that it is going to require PHP 8.0. So it's a good time to start poking your hosting provider to make sure that they support PHP 8. And I've ran into two testing problems uh, with either code tests or the Drupal.org testing infrastructure. One is that sometimes the responses from the testing system will give a different response depending on whether you upload a patch versus a merge request. I ran into this on a Drupal 7 module, the date module as it happens, and somebody had uploaded a patch file for a change. And I think it had like one test, error, test failure. Then they created it as a merge request as well, just because. And it showed up with more test failures, exact same change, but for some reason the infrastructure built the test environments differently and the failures were different. So keep an eye out for that. There is a Drupal infrastructure issue where they're trying to resolve that. Um, it's 3194156. And you might want to keep an eye on that if you work with patches and merge requests a lot. The other issue I ran into is that Sometimes when a test fails, a PHP unit test fails in Drupal 9.3 or above, it gives a generic error that makes it completely uh, impossible to work out what the problem is. Um, it's, you know, this one is so annoying. Well, let me show you. The issue. So, where was it? Uh, it says uncaught exemption serialization of closure is not allowed in standard input code. And it relates to a change in PHP unit. Some might say a bug in PHP unit. And I ran into this originally working on tests for uh, migrate commerce, trying to help with that module. And then recently ran into it on the meta tag module where I was updating the tests, make sure everything was okay with 9.3 and it showed up again. So here's something related to the devel module, but um, where was it? Oh, wait, no, it was a previous one. So skip that one down to here. It says PHP fatal error, uncaught exemption, serialization of closure is not allowed in stack input code. So 
the hopefully there will be a, a fix made in Drupal core, but there is a workaround. What you can do is add an item to your JSON file, composer.json file, that uh, adds a workaround to PHP unit so that it doesn't get choked at that point and then can ultimately give you what the actual error message is. So in this case, for meta tag, it was uh, a field did not exist when it was supposed to. Excuse me. So now I need to dig into why the field doesn't exist, but at least I've got a slightly more useful error than, I don't know, it's a closure, even though it wasn't. So um, keep an eye on that issue if you run into that problem. And hopefully it'll be fixed in core, but if nothing else, like I said, we do have that workaround. So anybody have anything they'd like to share or any issues they would like to look at? Well, uh, the only issue that I had was um, <clears throat> the, the live chat module does no longer has a release because it's not D9 compatible. Uh, live chat? Yeah. And uh, so there's a D7 version and there was a D8 version, but since it's, you know, D8 is no longer supported and they've never <clears throat> made a path for D9. <clears throat> now there is a uh, RTBC and actually there was a uh, request to uh, new maintainership that I filled out, um, but that got moved into the uh, project ownership queue instead of the um, the module itself queue. Right. And then I can do a release, and really that's just something I we need to kind of keep aware of. And I know it's been a month that uh, Drupal eight hasn't been recognized or supported. So any module that doesn't have a D nine version. Um, just needs to be aware that if it goes away and you get the notice that the module is unsupported, it's just because I have a patch that says it can run on D9 and that's, you know, and it's fine. But I still would like to, you know, get a live version of that soon. Yeah, understood. And good for you for, oh, there was the issue. Uh, standing up to, uh, or offering to co-maintain the module. Um, yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of that for a while. Right, and that's why are... I, Ali did that yesterday, so I don't imagine there's, you know, I wasn't expecting it to get done right away, but just yeah. thought it up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was the end of September. So, and uh, who knows what Michael and Zemo are up to, so I don't think they would have too much of an issue with that. I reached out to Michael, but I think I have a wrong email address for him, so, so I haven't talked yeah. to him since we worked together. Yeah, you might see if you can ping him on, well, you might see if he has a, a contact form. Oh yeah, I always forget to do, I always forget about that. He says last call media. Yeah. Um, and then also try pinging him on Slack. Yep. In this case. But good luck with that. And again, thank you for taking on that. So awesome. It's really the only issue I've had lately. Um, so. Cool. Um, all right. Uh, seeing as you're here, any other issues you might like to take a peek at? Otherwise, um, let's take a look at this, might as well. So for meta tag, 
the latest is that I'm working on a new release for Drupal 9. Uh -huh. As mentioned, I'm going to be dropping compatibility with Drupal 8 because it's end of life. The upgrade is relatively straightforward for most sites. So uh, there aren't any critical security issues or anything in Metatag. Not that I would say if there were, but there aren't. But um, uh, so the first release is going to be just a feature and minor bug fix release. So um, sites will have time to update before, well, hopefully, before there's a any specific urgent cause to. Um, so um, what I was intending to do here is, let's see, CD meta tag. Let me see if this is what I think it is. I think the last thing, last change I made on this local code base was, um, this patch here. Yes. So what I'm going to do now, um, I had thought one of the last issues or problems that we're having is related to some uh, bugs with the devel module. So I'm going to remove that test file and uh, try and reduce the number of test failures and then dig into the other issue later. So it is this test file here. All it does is runs another test to make sure that the site still works correctly when the devel module is enabled. Uh, but the one that is failing right now has to do with the web profiler module that does the same thing, just checks to see if the site is still working correctly after the web profiler module is enabled. But I'm going to remove that file for now. You might add it back again later and create a patch file off of that. Hit diff head. And then it's going to be patch file 10. The only difference in this test, this file is the removal of the ensure devel web profile works .php. So and upload the patch file, scroll down, hit save. And so in addition to regression testing against uh, Drupal 9.2, also need to add an additional test for 9.3 and PHP 8. And when that's done, we'll be able to work out what to do next. In the meantime, I'm going to reset everything. And there was another issue I wanted to look at. Um, a super, super, super ridiculously simple typo. It exists in a file. Um, which one was it? There's a single letter that is incorrect on the description. So those are always so much fun to find. 
Yeah. It's one of those facepalm things of what do you mean I left a typo in a description or in a comment somewhere. Um, but I welcome any and all contributions. So um, I'm happy to see it. So the patch did not apply correctly because there was another change recently that changed core version requirement to only nine. So Git was not able to, or the patch command was not able to work out how to apply this one correctly. So copy that change line over and do a git diff just to confirm the change. What was it? May lead. Ah, it was may need NEAD instead of LEAD. Yes, yes, yes. Silly Damien. So open the change log. Um, add a comment. Two T's and committed. I mean, I don't know why there would be typos. Um, then add the other person as the author. Um, add it to the change log file, which I still keep up to date because I'm weird like that. Then commit. And then get status, all the changes are in. And again, I don't know why there'd be a typo when I can't type the word or the command git push correctly. Um, okay, and then committed, fixed, all right. Scroll down and hit save. Jazz hands. Any others? Let's see if that other one finished yet. Still running, still queued. So it's gonna take longer. Um, have not finished the JSON API integration piece. Um, but one other issue that somebody posted was to, uh, Note there's a change in how the um, service definitions work. So let's make sure that still applies. It does. Okay. So when you're creating a new service definition, you need to set it to be public or not public as the case may be, but the default is now required. All right, needs to be stated. So I'm going to add this real quick. It's listed in the release for 1.7. So committed, let's see. Birder provided some insights. And add to the change log. Rapid character 80 because then commit the changes and push. See that time I spelled the word correctly. Ha ha ha. And save. So let's see, anything else? Um, there is this one issue that is marked RTPC, but I do need to do some digging into it. Um, I want to make sure that it is working the way that 
or that I'm happy with the way that it works. Uh, there was a specific um, architectural decision in how it currently works. So I want to make sure that we don't hit any weird regressions. And I think one other issue is this one here that a whole bunch of folks have worked on. It is for automatically trimming the lengths of meta tags so that you don't end up with a thousand character meta tag for something that can only accept 200 characters or where only 200 characters is relevant. Um, so let's make sure that it is what I think it is and see if it still applies correctly. And it does still apply. Um, so the idea is that there's going to be a new section in the settings that will let you control how long each meta tag is set to if it allow if it can be set to be trimmed. So the description tag is a common one. There has been some fluctuation over the years on how long the description tag could be. At one point, Google would take up to about 400 characters and show you a segment of the page's description based upon its relevance to the search phrase, the search keywords. But I understand that is no longer the case and now the recommended is back to around 160-ish characters. Um, but we've had an option in Drupal 7 for years to let you control that and now we finally have the same functionality in Drupal 9. So let me add all the things and I'm going to so you go through and now as maintainer, I need to go through and decide who gets attribution. So um, damage, let's see, go through the list and image. So I base the decision on whether or not the person has helped towards the um, end result uh, or if, so if they added in a positive way to the discussion, um, they don't necessarily have to like add patches, but reviewing the patch, providing recommendations on uh, solutions, et cetera, code snippets, screenshots, showing improvements, ideas, et cetera, is all useful. Um, but asking how do I apply a patch is less so. Um, let's see, Eugene, no, Nick. So Nikhil did. Uh, help, Allison, Joe. Uh, not so much at that time. I can never... So I think that is good. Uh, and then I think Gravel was the one who did the majority of the work on that. So um, add it to the change log. And then get status. All right. And then commit all the things. Committed. Thanks to everyone for helping with this, especially Greville for Greville. 
Yes. For doing the for putting together the code changes. And fixed. So ran a little over, but hope that helps folks uh, look into the uh, behind the scenes at maintaining a module. Um, let's leave it for leave it there for this week. Be back again next week with some more. Um, again, if you have ideas for topics, please drop them in the. Uh, planning issue. Otherwise, have a fantastic week and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thanks, Damien.